Seven. Is it seven? Well, welcome. Uh, this is Perry Township, and of course, it's the day before Halloween. So, of course, all eyes are on you. on uh, tomorrow's trick or treat. So, let's all stand and do the pledge to the flag. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, well, welcome everyone. And also, of course, remember that it's the voting, too. You must remember to vote on uh, Tuesday. And there's early voting also. So. Hopefully you'll remember this. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, roll call. Kelly? Uh, uh, Mark Fritz. Here. Mark Frazier. Here. Francis Griffith. Here. Kelly Schmidt. Yes, Charlie. Here. Okay. Uh, we should have an agenda. Mm -hmm. I'd like to add. She just. Uh, I'd like to add the emergency preparedness webinar. New business. Us. Yeah, new business. Emergency. Preparedness okay. webinar. Okay. Web. Okay. Okay. And that's when? November? 20th. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With the addition. Motion to approve the agenda with the addition. All right. Troy's made a motion. Second. Seconded by uh, Mark Bush. 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 Okay. Bush. So one favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Public comments. There's two sessions. One. Okay. Sheriff's report. How about the Come minutes? on, we do the minutes. Minutes. <laughs> Motion to approve the minutes. Oh, minutes. Oh, that's the agenda. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. I'll second it. The mask doesn't make you blind. Mark, did you, <laughs> did you make a motion? Yeah. All right. Second. Troy second it. Okay. All in favor? All right. Aye. All right. Check, 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 check. Now, public comments. Okay. Sheriff's report. Oh, we don't have any. Yeah. We're too early. Yeah. See some more? Um, we um, renewed the Chiefs contract for a year. And. Okay. We ratified the union contract. We ratified the union contract. For three years. And there's now on the Perry Area Fire and Rescue website a online application for burning permits. Oh, oh good. Oh, good. And you, but do it ahead of time enough, you know, if you want to burn this weekend, do it today or the latest tomorrow morning because Scott's still got to review it and call you. Because he used to say call us ahead of time. Right. So you can still call if you, can you want, but so you can do it online. Okay, well good. Okay. okay. That's that, that, both ways. Is it, yes. is, it, is, it, is it no burn right now or no? Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty close to it. It's pretty, pretty windy. windy. Okay. okay. But that's pretty much it, the many okay. highlights. Okay. And the chief was renewed for how many? For a year. year? A year? Yeah, he's, still, year? he's still classified as, as an interim chief, okay. sort of. Okay. DDA, we had all the members there but one, and Justin was there also. We had it last Wednesday night. And we had the informational meeting, which we've got to do twice a year, and we did that. And then uh, <clears throat> approved the treasurer's report. <clears throat> And uh, we updated, Justin explained that there were grants funds available for the Perry City to use in determining the water needs and capacity of their water system, including an update on our pricing from HRC, the Hubble Roth and Car Engineering Company, that made our, for our uh, estimate on the cost for the water, 12-inch water line down Lansing Road, Bennett Drive, back to the high school. Um, and uh, so uh, there's money in there for them to reevaluate the price on, since it's been a couple, three years. So. Uh, what else did you update on the missing lamp post on Lansing Road? It has been installed. It was installed uh, on 1016. Uh, it's a different pole because our pole is overseas and we can't get it, so they put another pole. It looks similar, but it's 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 been installed until we get the new pole. So we got the, the pole is still on order, but it is there now. Also, another light uh, on Bennett Drive, the first uh, uh, going south, the first uh, light pole was. I don't know if it was hit or fell down, but it's been replaced, and that's near that new business. Uh, at, uh, what's it called? Rangers. Rangers. Yeah, that new steel record business that 
moved in the Spartan building. Anyway, so that, uh, then we, we have a lighting project we approved for an optic C26000. That is new lights down Bennett Drive. There'll be a LED lights and they'll be all the same taller poles. So they'll be a little bit longer, 25 foot poles instead of the 17 or whatever they had there. And that was a, a unanimous vote there also. So anyway, uh, Justin said he noted that additional housing needs uh, provide for increased growth in our county. He also stated that he has spent a lot of time with the housing market in the county. Just very bleak, not very many houses available to people who want to move into our, our area. So he mentioned that um, <clears throat> we did approve the SCDP invoice for the year. Uh, and what else? Um, that was about it. Um, we did suggest, that we talked about our, our IF, the exemptions at uh, Ranger Steel God and Lifetime Metals is trying to get, right? And then uh, we also was suggested by the DDA that maybe we should have a tour of their facilities, maybe during our January meeting, just have a tour, and have our meeting there. And uh, that was about it on that. Zoning, we did have some zoning. Uh, we had a 16 by 14 addition on uh, South Roos Road, the Grinnell, and we had a, a deck uh, on, on uh, Rayland Hills, and we had a 6 by 24, and then we had Nelson Holding, that was a metal sign out front, put up, and uh, we had uh, Trader Parks, I think, mm -hmm. the Trader Parks. That's our zoning building on that. Okay. County Commissioner, no. Library work. Uh, they uh, did the evaluation for Jamie, the director, and gave her a raise and a raise in her IRA withholdings. There is a new patron catalog. I don't totally understand this, but it's on the website, and you can go in there, create an account, and then order materials that you want to read or the other things that they have available that way. And they've been they've got most of the permits taken care of in Byron to start that building in Byron for the township hall and the library over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Troy, I'm 69. Back to the CDP one. Uh, we talked about board attendance some more, and it's it's been figured out that people that have an alternate, even without the alternate attending, have better board attendance than people that don't bother to get an alternate. Oh. So. Oh. Well, that's, uh, we, but we are getting better attendance. We were kind of having to push a little bit. And we have, uh, I don't know the name yet, but we do have somebody that is uh, possibly going to take that job that we had open. And uh, we're just, they're trying to finalize some things right now on that. Okay. And then with the land bank, uh, <clears throat> they had a open house in Lennon for the properties that we have over there where the window factory used to be and there's an elementary school also that's available and not from the land bank. And they had a number of builders, developers show up to to talk about putting housing in there and uh, so that's moving forward. Um, mm -hmm. But Lennon could be a pretty hot spot with uh, that thing at the airport and the, uh, that development and some of the other things that are going on and when, the, when that uh, dredge plant goes in south of Lennon, that could create, that's 150 people, that could create the need for more housing. More housing there. Stuff, yeah. so. Okay. And then your planning commission meeting? Well, Tom, and I talked about this, I think, at the last meeting. Tom had come and given a, a talk to us about uh, Cahokta Township was starting legal action against the state over the, the uh, alternative energy siting. And uh, he actually gave uh, 
Dwayne an update that, that our county commission has voted to, to join that. Is that correct, Dwayne? To get involved in it. He didn't come out and say how, but they voted to get involved with the lawsuit. So that's pretty much what I have on, on the planning he, commission. He would be at our meeting. <clears throat> Okay. Anything else more? No, I think that's yeah. it. Of course, you didn't have a meeting then. Um, we didn't have a meeting last month. So. Enough. Right. Okay, Troy. Financial report. And take it okay, you have your bills list in front of you. It's going to be a very short list this month because we're we're going to have a lot of stuff come in next week. But uh, the main highlights I would say is our major road project, the Beardsley Road. Scratch course seal coat um, between Beard and Bath. That bill is in there. Um, <clears throat> other than that, uh, oh, we did get reimbursed for the presidential primary election. We got reimbursed. Okay. Well, eight months ago, yes. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> so, other than that, are there any questions on the bills? No, pay the bills. All right, Mark. Uh, Mark says pay the bills. Second. Seconded by Bush. Roll call vote, Kelly. Mark Bull. Yes. Mark Frazier. Yes. Francis Griffith. Yes. Kelly Schmidt. Yes. Very firmly. Yes. Okay. Any correspondence? Kelly? <coughs> okay. No? 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 Public comment number two. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. That bead uh, program, uh, we. We talked about that at the last meeting, and uh, I did put in your box some communication that I had with uh, with uh, <clears throat> Mark uh, from uh, Daystar. Oh, oh, oh. Mark okay. from Daystar, okay. and uh, they they did not they're not on the same page as what we thought that they were. So long and the short. Last month, right? Remember, we asked Justin about this. He indicated that. Daystar was partnering with this 123 net for broadband, and it turns out that's not really what's going on. And it's funny, Mark didn't say anything at the last FCDP meeting, so. Mark, I, bet Mark, Mark, I bet Mark and Justin had a conversation not in public about this. He, he sent that email, that email to me, you know, and then I. I uh, so, does, so does Daystar need a letter of recommendation again? I don't know. We did it once. We already did it once. I guess, I guess the, here's the sticky wicket. Do we want to give another letter of support for this 123 net or, or not? We didn't send in what we did last month because we were led to believe they were partnering with Daystar and they are competing with Daystar. Now, that's kind of so what that's, it sounds like, yeah. you know, the question is, is it, you know, it'd be nice if one of them would get it. I mean, I prefer it be Daystar, but I prefer it be somebody better than nobody. Or so, what? What did Mark? You talked to Mark. Mark, what did he say? Uh, just that he appreciated us not sending the letter out, you know, in support when they're not on the same page with him. So know. Daystar is applying for the grant too. They are. Well, I certainly would be more than happy to support Daystar, and if, if they and one, two, three are not. Just working together, I guess that's... Yeah. Yeah, he basically said, uh, Mark, I, uh, he said, uh, he said, they are not participating with us. Thank you for asking, Mark. That's what he said. He, he didn't make any uh, one way or the other. Yes, he did. Down here in the bottom of the first page. Oh, first page, okay. It says, yeah, would the town should be willing, willing to sign a letter? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah. So, okay, so. So I, I make a motion that we send a letter of support okay. for the A-star. Okay. All right, Mark. Letter of support. <clears throat> Anybody want to support that letter of support? Second. Butch? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay, we'll do it. <clears throat> that takes care of that thing, you know, situation. Thank you. Troy, ARPA funds des designation. So we have about 20 grand worth of ARPA funds left still, and we have to, we don't have to spend it by the end of the year, but we have to allocate it. Set it aside for something. It has to be earmarked for something by the end of the calendar year. Okay. You got any suggestions? 
I guess the two that Kelly and I, Kelly and I talked about one of them, and the other one that I just thought of is one we could allocate it to upgrade our HVAC system in the hall here. I mean, our furnaces are old; we have problems constantly. That, I think that should be the number one. Yeah. In the end, and, and if we didn't do that, we could always use it on next year's major road projects. But, but I, I mean, I think the HVAC stuff really should. I, be. I yeah. think so too. Then, then um, okay. I will make a motion that we allocate the remaining ARPA funds for improving the township's uh, HVAC system. Second. Now we'll have to go and get bids right. and proposals and all that. And I didn't want to throw that on right before the election here and stuff anyway. But we just we just have to have an allocation. Can you second it, yeah. Okay. Okay, Troy. Roll call vote, Kelly. Troy Parmelee. Yes. Mark Bolt. Yes. Mark Frazier. Yes. Francis Griffin. Yes. Kelly Schmidt. Yes. And it doesn't have to be done until the end of 2016. Oh, we just gather the bids and yeah, see where and, we're at. And to do it in the middle of winter is probably not the greatest time. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> not. Not the heating, that's for sure. Yeah. Kelly, you got a stump grinding bid for the cemetery out there. Yes, we have a lot of stumps out in the cemetery from all of the trees that we've wind. lost over the, the last. 12, 15 years, <laughs> but there's a lot of them out there, and it's getting to the point where the cemetery is looking kind of like it needs to be maintained a little bit. Okay. So, uh, Mike Green is working with a stump grinding company. Um, the stump grinding company is going to grind the stumps, and then Mike is going to clean everything <laughs> up and um, you know, take headstones off if, if the trees are encroaching underneath the foundations and fix all of that stuff too. He proposed thirty-two hundred dollars uh, for the grinding and the cleanup. So. Do we are we taking that out of general funds or are we taking that out of the, the maintenance account? Well, it would probably just go to the cemetery general maintenance general fund. Maintenance <coughs> Unless we want to transfer from perpetual care, we could. I mean, would we get the money in the, in in, the, in the perpetual budgeted care. amount? Yeah, we should be good for this year. Well, I'll make a motion that we uh, accept Mike's bid for thirty-two hundred dollars from the which account? Oh, it'll, it'll just be Perfect. a regular general. General, general. general. Okay, okay. All right. Stump grinding, stump grinding. I'll second that. Mark and uh, Kelly. Roll call vote, Kelly. Mark Foltz. Yes. Mark Frazier. Yes. Francis Griffin. Yes. Kelly Schmidt. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we got. Uh, New officers training for our new officer. Officials. Sir. Officials. <laughs> officials. New officials training. Officials. Officers. So. The, MTA, right? MTA. Yeah, it's through MTA. Um, so we've got the clerk and the deputy clerk that will be needing some training. And it's $150 for the early bird. That's why I put it on because um, the time isn't going to, it's not going to. We'll be late by our yeah, next meeting. Yeah, it'll be late. So. Make a motion that we send the new clerk and deputy clerk to the officials training. I'll second it. Mark Frazier. Yes. Francis Griffin. Yes. Kelly Schmidt. Yes. Trey Carmelly. Yes. Mark Foltz. Yes. Simplifizer probably should go too. What'd you say? New. No. It says new. <laughs> <laughs> new. No. Okay. Okay. Next is the. Uh, Okay, uh, like I said, consumers finally got the quote out on a hard copy quote on the Granite Drive lights. Uh, I had a verbal quote at 25187, and it is 25187. We got the quote, and uh, like Troy said, we've got to modify our standard lighting contract agreement, which is our board recommendation to do that. So, so to be clear, the DDA is paying for the light upgrade. The DB TDA pays for the the energy use on the lights each month. Each month. But we as the governing board have to authorize it because this is part of our we have a standard contract from 
January 5th of 1978 for street lights, and anytime we add, subtract, change, you know, that has to be modified. So there you have an attached resolution and authorization on there. We had to do this on the Lansing Road ones. Okay. And when we upgraded those too. So and what are they doing exactly, Mark? They're they're, they're taking uh, not all the poles out. The tall poles are staying. Uh, there's 17 poles, and there's about three that have to, will stay, and the rest of them are changing to to 25 foot poles. And they're putting new lights on top, very similar to their very similar to Rose Boulevard. They shine a bright light around the whole area all the way down. And then the problem they got with the truckers coming out on Bitter Drive is their, their big lights at night hit that and the sensor knocks the light out and the lights out, half the lights are out, most lights are out. So this will take care of that problem. So they've assured me of that. And so that's what this is. Everybody at the DDA voted for it 100%. Yeah, the, DDA, the DDA's paid for everything. We just have to all They've been after this for a long time. So we finally got... Now he did say the poles are, will be on order, but it will be a little bit of a time. They're not, they're not as bad as this other poll. So this is resolution 924, 2024. 9-2024. So I will make a motion that we approve the resolution and the authorization for the change in the standing light, standard lighting contract for the benefit. Second. Motion second. Okay. Kelly, roll call vote again. Frank Griffith. Yes. Kelly Smith. Yes. Frank Yes. Mark Folks. Yes. Mark Frazier. Yes. Well, we're still on this topic. Uh, the uh, uh, a person that's going north on M52 at uh, the, the first cross place. You got the Church Road. The vets. Yeah, Church Road. Somebody there on that road, Church Road, wants a light above there. And I asked consumers how much it would cost. He, he said $100. So, you know, we just have to pay the monthly bill. So I guess I got to... Well, they have to get us one of these. I know, but yeah. I just want to let the board know that we're working on yeah. that, too. You know, like the nice I think, we're, gonna, done all I think we're going to open a can of worms that way. Well, Troy and I... I don't know. We have, we have one at almost every other intersection so, that 52 it's crosses. Probably on probably on that, you know, and, and, and so Wait, we've got one at Locke. We've got one at Beard. We've got one at Ellsworth. We've got one at Rupert. It's we've got one at Bath. It's not got one at Miller. Church is about the one we're missing. It's not a lot. It's not. A, it's not a lot of money. So, uh, yeah. so okay. So we'll we'll work on that. Okay. There's that. Yeah, so, one more. Are they going to want one at Whitaker then? Probably. All down 52. Yeah. But anyway, uh, um, that's, that was. And I I called her. Let her know we'll, we'll work on it. She was. Well, there's not one at Whitaker. Huh? I said, are they going to want one at Whitaker now? I think there's one there. Is there? Yeah, there's one there. It's there's church, there. church Road is about church, the only church one that doesn't have one. So, uh, is that going to be a pole or is it going to be a cable? They, they have It'll to be a pole. It'll be a pole over. They don't, do the, they they don't do the cable anymore. Yeah. Good, because they'll take it down. Right, the, right, right. The exactly. size level will take it down. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do cables anymore. So uh, the last item was ener uh, your, your That's seminar, right. Mark, energy. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, the. Uh, the National Weather Service is having a webinar on November 20th from 1 to 2 about emergency preparedness to do with weather events. And I've asked Mark if he would do it, and Dwayne, and uh, just, you know, they may mention some things about some grants or something like that, and, you know, maybe we could, uh, if there's grants available, maybe we could work on getting a generator. You know, or something like that. So, you know, just I just think it doesn't, hurt, it doesn't hurt to. Yeah. Does it cost anything? No. 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 I'll have to get you the information, Mark. And, okay. Uh, All right. Phone number and stuff. Okay. Any other comments? I have some. Yes. Yes. So, early voting. Yes. Yes. The township, um, since Saturday, has had 180 early voters. Okay. We've been averaging anywhere from about 35 to 45, somewhere in there a day. Um, overall, the county's numbers were 2,489 so far. So it's definitely been utilized. How that is every jurisdiction but Owasso. Correct. Owasso City, yep. They do it at their own area. They do their own. When we figured that was about... How many registered voters would be qualified there? Probably 45, something. Oh, overall. We have like 58 in the whole county. You take a Wasserlau, it's going to be 
I don't know. 45 or so, I would guess. And I have one more thing. I just want to say that it's been great working with all of you for the last 12 years. I wanted to thank you for the support you've given me so that I was able to serve the town residents to the best of my ability. We've accomplished a lot over the years. And I feel that this is a very productive board and that it works well together and as a whole has the community's best interest in mind when making decisions. And I hope you continue to work together and embrace new people and ideas that are brought before you for consideration. I see the future of the township moving forward as we take steps towards development to increase business in our DDA area, yet preserving farming and the rural community. So I wish you all good luck. And thank you, Kelly, for your hard work and determination. And Darlene. And Darlene, and who's also here. Uh, the chief assistant, Bonnie Warshaw, and, and always kept me in line to a point. <laughs> and I always would say, what would Darlene do? And I, I mean that seriously. Over these last eight years, I, what would Darlene do? Well, she'd go right back in that store and tell them what she thought. And I would I would do that. I did it today at Kroger's. I, I, you know, and they, I didn't get something on the on the points I was supposed to get, so I called the number, and they did. They gave me the points. So I, today I used it. What would Darlene do? So thank you, Darlene, for your awesome. Thank you. Okay, with that, public comments. Any public comments? Smart? Any public comments? Okay, okay. Very good. I wondered why you were coming. She had a whole she had a whole prepared document. Okay. Well, uh, tomorrow is our Halloween event, as you probably know from the earlier video of me. But also, it's time to vote, and hopefully we'll vote and uh, vote your heart and do a good job. Everybody needs to vote, and that is Tuesday. We'll open from 7 a.m. 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Till 8 p.m. So, uh, thank you so much. With that, good evening. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. What time is it? Oh, second. 7.26. Oh. Oh. Did you make me a copy of those planning commission meetings? Yes. Minutes? <laughs> I'm not going to refocus. <clears throat> what time is it anyway? Uh, it is like five seven. seven you don't get much. Um, there's we've we've got quite a bit back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it, there's nobody in the line. Yeah. Dr. Justice, I can see. I don't know if you know.